Well, I guess it happens to everyone. I dropped my guitar at a family gathering and put a huge dent in it. Yeah, this really sucks. Too bad I dropped it. Checking inside the guitar, it doesn't appear to be structural damage. I'm not an expert at repairing acoustic guitars. I'm not a luthier. I'm just gonna repair the outside and hope that that's enough. I'm gonna try to put some sawdust into this crack. I'm not a luthier, don't crucify me. I'm not professional. And go ahead and put a little glue in there and clamp it together. No matter what I did, I couldn't get this flush. I just put a little bit of glue in there. Just do it with my finger carefully. Okay. I hate dropping guitars. It sucks. I know you should use super glue or something, but it has a little sawdust in it. So it's just, maybe that'll help fill in these cracks. Maybe that's not very effective what I'm doing right now. The glue seemed to be effective. Actually, it already looks pretty decent, doesn't it? I don't have the right clamps either. I just have these big industrial cabinet clamps. I know I have the right tools. I'm doing the best with what I got. I can't really hire anybody in Kuwait. There is one guy in Kuwait that everyone was telling me to fix his guitar, but he, even he told me he doesn't have the tools to do this. I'm forced to do this kind of thing on my own. Maybe you should be a luthier. Eh, no thank you. I don't want to clamp too much on the damn body. Oh boy, and this clamp is pretty heavy too. Oh boy, I'm having all kinds of problems here. Here, just hold, hold it for me. <laughs> what am I, your cameraman, your assistant? It's like, I'm the jack of all trades. This is some ghetto gar guitar repair. What was that sound? i to move this a little bit this way. Seems about as good as I can get it. Maybe I'll try this one on there too. Shiggy! What? How do you luthiers do this? It's so hard. I feel like it's getting it a little more down. It's pretty heavy too. I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get this thing. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours, take the clamps off and reassess. Fingers crossed. Okay, I've let the guitar sit for about 24 hours. I was able to get this crack relatively flat. It's never gonna be perfect, but it's much improved over what it was. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra glue in just to, just, there's just a little, few little gaps here. I'm just hoping that I'll maybe seal them up. We got a little guest here, Ryan. Leave that another 24 hours. And I ended up putting even more glue inside of this crack. It looks way better than it did before. So I've let the guitar sit for another 36 hours or so, added more glue even. The glue raises up a little above the finish of the guitar, so you want to get it smooth and, and knock some of that glue down. So I use this Micro Mesh 8000 grit pads. Uh, I'm going to wet sand it, so I'm going to, normally you wouldn't want to put water on your guitar, but I'm going to do a little tiny bit of wet sanding. 6000, 4000, 8000 should be plenty fine.
might use this Dunlop guitar polish to try to smooth it out a little maybe. About as good as we're gonna get that one. for what it was. <laughs> that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's about as good as I can get that one. It'll never be perfectly smooth, and uh, maybe I'll take it to a professional one day, but this will do. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was there a way I could have fixed this a little better? Let me know what you think. <laughs>